Hello, today we're taking a look at Photo Lemur. Photo Lemur is a photo editing application that is fast and easy to um, a method to edit your photos that makes it all automated. No need to know how to use certain tools or any of that. It's just really hassle-free photo editing. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the pro version today. So this is gonna be Photo Lemur Pro. Keeping in mind that there is a free trial you're gonna be able to check out in our link. And if you use our link, you can actually save on some really great special deals on the Photo Lemur family license, 65% um, off, plus a free photo book value up to $50. So be sure to check that out at the end of the video. Here we are at Photo Lemur Pro. As you can see here, uh, keeping in mind, this is a really dead simple drag and drop photo editing experience. Supports raw files, JPEG files, TIFFs, PNGs, and really any photo within 800 by 600 in terms of resolution. Um, now you can import photos here very easily, singly, or you can do it in batch. Um, they also offer the sample image if you kind of just want to get a uh, use case for how it works here. And we'll go ahead and show that real quick here. So simply you have the photo, it imports it, it takes a look at it, it uses machine learning and AI learning to adjust for a lot of the stuff that common photo edits would uh, you know, need. So for example, here's the before photo, a kind of dull lit, you have two uh, subjects in the foreground here. Here's the after with Photo Lemur. So it does a lot of stuff. It does things like exposure, you know, adjustment, um, saturation, contrast uh, adjustment. It looks at things like skin and, and smoothness and textures, um, low light, graininess, all the stuff that you would typically need to edit within a photo uh, with multiple tools and brushes and things of that nature. It does it all automatically. So you can see here the sky, for example, it's boosted in terms of color. Um, you get more separation between the foreground and the background. You can see the background kind of gets a little bit more blurrier and brings the subjects into view here. It adds some sharpness and, and, and texture to a lot of the outlines of the objects and details. And that's all there is to it. And the only editing you have in terms of actual edit capability is you can adjust the overall um, boost of uh, photo lemur. So for example, maybe you don't want to over exaggerate the edit here, you can go like 50%. But if you want it to really be, you know, boost it up, then you can go 100%. So you can kind of adjust the slider to kind of get your sweet spot in terms of how you like the photo and the edits it's done. And then when you're done, you simply hit export and you can export it to your disk, Facebook or Twitter. And it really is that simple. And that's the power behind photo lemur. It looks at all these, you know, different um, you know, aspects that would come with, you know, photo edits that you would want to change. And it tries to automate those, whether it's like skin smoothing and texturing, um, colors and, and uh, you know, enhancements. It does all of that automatically using its engine. You do have some settings you can go in here if you want to do things like auto lens correction, you can turn that on or off, disable sounds. Um, you can even install plugins. So they have some additional plugins for like Photoshop or Lightroom for those editors if you want to go ahead and check those out. But again, the idea behind Photo Lemur is more that it's hassle free. You drop your photos in, you get what you like, um, you can adjust it if needed, and you export it. Um, it does support batch processing. So I have three photos here that I want to showcase for a use case example. Um, so let me go ahead and grab those. And you can simply just drag them in and it'll support uh, multiple photos here. So you'll show them up here in the browser. You can go ahead and double tap on one to go ahead and see the adjustments that would be made before you, uh, you know, of course, export it. Here's a photo that I took on a DSLR. This is a raw file. So it's, it supports raw uh, files for DSLRs. You can see the before. This photo is really ready, uh, crisp. It's, it's, you know, really, really high quality because it was taken on a DSLR. And if I drag the after, you can see a couple of adjustments here. First off, you can see in the background, it looked at the objects. It took a lot of the shadows away and added more highlights and really kind of texture the background. So you get more saturation in terms of the bushes here, but it did come at a cost and that you'll see that it smoothed over the background, but it also kind of mistakenly did that in the foreground. So you can see the people here in this case in the foreground kind of got blurrier. It kind of got a little bit more noisy um, in that uh, effect. So this is a use case where I wouldn't want the boost to be as exaggerated. I can take it to like 50% so I can still see the edit has been done, but at the same time, the people aren't as blurry as they were when it was over exaggerated. So photo lemur works really great, but it, it isn't perfect, right? Sometimes we'll mistakenly think objects, um, they can't distinguish between the two. Um, and the engine will just kind of mask over all of that. So this is a use case where it was a really great photo ready to begin with. And, um, you know, the photo lemur boost didn't need to be as significant. Otherwise it kind of, you know, uh, ruins the photo. Now here's another one. Here's a dull photo of a lighthouse that was taken. 
this is really great because you can see here with photo lemur what it does here's the before really dull really kind of underexposed here's the after you can see the sky the clouds a lot of the textures come into play the sharpness of the waves and, and more importantly the foreground object here which is the focus which is the lighthouse you can see how much more it comes into play after photo lemur uh, has done its job and last but not least here's a low light setting where a bar here's a picture that was taken in low light which is probably one of the more trickier use cases when it comes to photo editing. Um, you can see you can't really see a lot of the objects in the background. There's a lot of shadows at play. After, you can see it boosted the brightness. So you can see a lot of what's going on. You can see more of the settings and the, you know, the people and the things in the background. However, it does come at a cost. You can see there's a little bit more grainier and the photo's a little bit more noisier in terms of the quality um, because it was taken in low light. But it is a great use case if you have low light photos that you kind of want to brighten up a bit. Um, or vice versa, if you have grainy photos that you want to kind of smooth it out, then PhotoLemur is a really great app for you to just simply drop a picture in and you're good to go. But that's it. Really, it makes photo editing so simple. You don't need to know how to use like patch tools and brushes and all these random effects in Lightroom or Photoshop. And it's, you know, um, just super simple, drag and drop, easy to use. And in terms of the cost uh, comparison to those apps, it's just much, much more economic and affordable. That being said, if you use our link down below, you can save even more on PhotoLemur. You can try out that free trial, but if you do decide to buy, you can save up to 65% off um, the PhotoLemur family license, which is really useful. And you get some additional value in using our link. Um, so you get the PhotoLemur here uh, family license for just $35. You get other bonuses on top of that, including with our link, a free photo book from uh, Peekaboo, uh, which is a $50 value in and of itself. So that being said, be sure to check out that offer because it does expire uh, at any time, so you want to act fast. Um, your purchases, as always, are protected by HTTPS protocol and a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk on your side. If you're looking for hassle-free photo editing, be sure to check out PhotoLemur.